Have you heard that Google's monopoly over browsers is ending? Do you know about Ladybird, a future-ready browser? Ladybird is an ambitious open source project that aims to revolutionize your browsing experience. Though Ladybird hasn't been released, in this video I will show you what it looks like and how it will take your browsing experience to the next level in the coming years. Are you ready? Let's start. The Ladybird browser, founded by Andreas Kling, is a new independent web browser that has the potential of competing against ad-supported largely used Google Chrome. Ladybird browser aims to start from scratch and unlike other browsers that build on existing code, develop a new web engine based on modern web standards. Initially, the Ladybird project started with HTML with an operating system, Serenity OS, but it has now evolved into a cross-platform browser supporting macOS, Linux, and other Unix-like systems. We see in the modern world that the World Wide Web has become the most fundamental pillar of human civilization where we can express ourselves and innovate. John Perry Barlow, a political activist known for his contributions to cyber libertarianism, describes browsers as cyberspaces that play the role of a new home for the mind allowing us to express our beliefs anywhere without fear of confrontation and pressure. This freedom of expressing thoughts and beliefs has toppled governments, given the world millions of millionaires and NFTs of humble cats achieving unparalleled fame and sold in millions. However, this freedom and openness is under threat. We see that internet users are somehow at the mercy of major web browsers like Google Chrome, Edge, Safari, and Firefox they collectively hold over 90% of the market share. The technology and funding of these frequently used browsers are being controlled by Google. One may say that Google is providing quality service, and that is why dominating the market share. But we cannot overlook the potential for misuse of power. Maybe one day, Google will decide to remove all cat NFTs from their browsers, which will not be acceptable for any of us. That is why a war is going on between browsers Browsers are coming up with innovations. For example, Firefox has recently introduced tabs managed in the sidebar, a feature already used in the popular Arc browser. We see that other browsers are using some advanced technologies. For example, two open source browsers used in Rust. The Verso browser utilizes the servo engine and Builts utilizes a minimal web renderer. However, we see there is one browser that stands out among all new browsers, which is called Ladybird. This is an ambitious and independent futuristic open source browser that has a mission to brave the dominance of other famous browsers. Revise. In October 2018, a talented software engineer named Andreas Kling, who had previously contributed his expertise to the development of WebKit while working at both Apple and Nokia, completed an intensive three-month rehabilitation program in Sweden. Feeling an overwhelming sense of boredom and grappling with the challenges of unemployment, he made a pivotal decision to channel his energies into a personal project, the creation of his very own operating system, which he aptly named Serenity OS. This ambitious operating system is a unique blend, skillfully combining the aesthetic and functional elements of a 1990s graphical user interface with the robust capabilities of a late 2000s Unix command line interface. Kling undertook the massive task of developing every aspect of the OS from the ground up, constructing everything from the core kernel to the web browser entirely from scratch. The inspiration behind the name Serenity OS is drawn from the well-known Serenity Prayer, which beautifully speaks of the desire for tranquility and wisdom in the face of challenges. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. One of the significant outcomes of this project was the establishment of a new browser engine, which Kling launched as an independent, cross-platform initiative named Ladybird on July 4th, 2022. This marked a noteworthy milestone in his journey as he transitioned from simply developing an operating system to fostering a broader ecosystem of software. The development of the Ladybird browser involves the collaboration of over 50 skilled contributors who have collectively produced an impressive half a million lines of C++ code. This extensive work led to the creation of a nonprofit organization dedicated to overseeing the project's progress and direction. To ensure that Ladybird's mission remained focused and untainted by commercial interests, 
Andreas Kling teamed up with a co-founder of GitHub. This collaboration was primarily aimed at safeguarding the project's values and objectives, allowing it to operate independently from profit-driven pressures. Relying solely on sponsorships and donations, Ladybird carefully avoids the potential conflicts and dilemmas that can arise in for-profit browsers that emphasize user privacy, such as Brave, which is built on Google's Chromium framework. One of the most distinguishing features of Ladybird, compared to many competitors, is its commitment to being fully independent and open source. Unlike Brave, which depends heavily on the underlying Chromium engine, Ladybird's architecture is autonomously developed, reinforcing the importance of transparency in its code and enhancing user trust while prioritizing data privacy. This fundamental principle of open source development is intended to foster a trustworthy environment for users, setting Ladybird apart in a market often dominated by corporate interests. The project of building a web browser from scratch is no small achievement and comes with countless challenges. The standards established by the World Wide Web Consortium are complete, employing over 4 million words and continually evolving, which adds to the complexity of ensuring compliance. Ladybird's developers have made remarkable strides in enhancing their HTML and JavaScript engines, creatively named libhtml and libjs respectively. They also integrate established tools such as FFmpeg to provide seamless support for video playback within the browser, showcasing their commitment to modern web standards. While Ladybird demonstrates considerable promise, the road ahead is marked by a lengthy development timeline. The first alpha version is anticipated for release on Linux and Mac OS in the summer of 2026, with the Windows version potentially facing an even longer wait. Some of the early supporters of Ladybird might even jest that by the time it is fully operational, they might have aged considerably. Nevertheless, those eager to experiment with the browser can access Ladybird's source code on GitHub, where they have the option to compile it themselves, thus engaging with the project even in its early stages. Regardless of the level of market share that Ladybird ultimately achieves, its development signifies a valuable contribution to society as it challenges the escalating concentration of power across the digital landscape. In an era where the internet is increasingly centralized, Ladybird stands as a beacon of hope, embodying the aspirations for an open and free web. It holds the potential to ensure the ongoing exchange of cherished digital expressions, ranging from serious discussions to the lighter side of the internet, like the ever-popular cat memes. The evolution of Ladybird highlights a broader struggle for control and freedom in the online arena. As competition among web browsers intensifies, every new feature introduced in established options like Firefox, alongside the innovative advancements from projects like Ladybird, serves to diversify and ultimately decentralize the internet. This not only enriches the user experience, but also ensures that a wide array of choices is available to internet users. In the landscape of transformative open source projects, Convex emerges as a noteworthy alternative to Firebase, offering app developers a streamlined approach to back-end processes. With Convex, developers can effortlessly manage tasks such as scheduled jobs, server functions, database queries, and file storage, all within a framework that utilizes pure TypeScript. This well-thought-out design enhances the user experience by ensuring robust type safety throughout the entire stack. Additionally, Convex provides an ACID-compliant database that features efficient caching and optional schema enforcement, effectively sidestepping the complexities often associated with SQL, including migrations and ORMs. In parallel to Firebase, it also supports automatic real-time subscriptions for database queries, adding to its appeal. The ongoing struggle for a free and open internet remains a critical issue, with web browsers serving as a vital component of this battle. Initiatives like Ladybird and Convex exemplify the core principles of open source development, showcasing the remarkable outcomes that can result when skilled individuals actively oppose the monopolistic tendencies exhibited by major tech companies. These endeavors play a crucial role in keeping cyberspace a vibrant environment where innovation and freedom can flourish. As engaged users and developers, we can actively support these commendable initiatives through various means, including sponsorships, 
donations, or simply spreading the word about their missions. Although fully functional versions of Ladybird might still be some years away, its existence already serves as a catalyst that challenges the limits of what is feasible while promoting diversity in web browsing options. In today's digital landscape, every move made toward decentralization and open source development represents a significant leap forward for internet freedom, revealing the possibility of a more equitable online environment. While the journey ahead may be long and fraught with challenges, the vision of a more open, innovative, and user-centric internet is undoubtedly worth pursuing. Regardless of whether you identify as a developer, a casual browser, or simply a tech enthusiast, the story of Ladybird serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of remaining vigilant, nurturing innovation, and providing support for open source efforts in our ever-evolving digital world. Therefore, the next time you access the internet, take a moment to reflect on the technologies that enable your online experience and consider lending your support to projects dedicated to preserving the openness, freedom, and innovative spirit of the web. Let's take a closer look at some of the essential features that the Ladybird browser has to offer. One of the most noteworthy aspects of the Ladybird browser is its strong commitment to adhering to web standards. This emphasis on standards compliance not only facilitates good performance, but also enhances stability and security for users. An additional benefit of being open source is that it actively welcomes contributions from anyone interested in helping with its ongoing development. This creates a community-oriented approach that can drive innovation and improvement within the browser. The design of the browser incorporates a multi-process architecture which serves as a crucial foundation for its operation. Key components of this architecture include LibWeb, which focuses on web standards, LibJS, responsible for handling JavaScript, and LibGFX, dedicated to rendering graphics efficiently. By utilizing this multi-layered architecture, Ladybird fosters a robust and flexible development environment that can adapt to various needs and changes in technology over time. Furthermore, the Ladybird project operates under a nonprofit model, which is quite distinct from many other modern browsers. Rather than relying on ad revenue to fund its operations, Ladybird depends entirely on sponsorships and donations. This unique funding structure allows the project to maintain its independence, focusing its efforts on continuous browser development without the distractions or pressures that often accompany user monetization strategies employed by other browsers. Unlike many of the mainstream browsers that dominate the market today, Ladybird seeks to carve out a niche as a user-friendly alternative. It aims to empower users by providing them with greater control over their online experiences. This user-centric approach is a core part of its philosophy, striving to improve how individuals interact with the web. After dedicating half a day to the installation process on my Ubuntu system, I finally created a moment of anticipation as I launched the browser for the first time. However, my initial impression of the experience was not particularly impressive. This could primarily be attributed to the fact that the project is still in its early development stages, meaning there are bound to be some rough edges and areas that require refinement. If you choose to explore the Ladybird browser, it is advisable to manage your expectations accordingly. The user interface bears a striking resemblance to applications from the era of Windows 3.1, which may feel outdated for some users. Additionally, the browser's functionality appears to be limited at this point, with many features either not fully implemented or operational. These factors suggest that while the vision for the Ladybird browser is promising, users should be prepared for a less polished experience as the project continues to evolve and grow. The Ladybird web browser is currently designed with a primary focus on Unix-like platforms, meaning it is optimized for operating systems such as Linux and macOS. However, it is important to note that, at this time, it does not yet provide support for Windows operating systems. This lack of compatibility with Windows may limit its user base, as many individuals and organizations rely on that platform for their daily computing needs. Furthermore, there are ongoing concerns regarding the browser's capability to fully support the vast and diverse existing web landscape. 
users are also curious about the potential for meaningful customization options to be available by the year 2026. As development progresses, it is anticipated that both the limitations and features of the Ladybird browser will evolve, which may address some of these concerns over time. Therefore, interested users and developers should stay informed about the latest updates and changes through official communication channels, as well as active discussions within the community. This way, they can gain insights into the browser's development trajectory and any new functionalities that may be introduced. In short, Ladybird is an innovative web browser and engine that has been developed with a strong emphasis on several key aspects, including speed, stability, privacy, and adherence to web standards. This browser is designed to be open source, which means that its code is accessible for anyone to study, modify, and enhance, promoting transparency and collaboration within the tech community. Additionally, Ladybird functions as an independent and nonprofit project, setting itself apart by providing a distinctive user-centric alternative in the increasingly crowded browser market. By prioritizing speed, Ladybird ensures that users can enjoy a fast and efficient browsing experience, making it an appealing choice for those seeking a reliable web solution. This wraps up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Share your thoughts in the comment box. See you in the next video.